They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Left all my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression. It's all that I wanted. The phone and affection. I summon and dub it. Cause they got problems on problems. What's going on, people? It's the Xbox 448 bringing you some quick gaming news. Now, these are pieces of news that for some rhyme or reason I think might fall through the cracks. People might not, you know, pay it a lot of attention, but you know, there's some good things here to be said for, you know, certain gamers out there that are interested in um you know what's going on day to day when it comes to uh, video games and the first one on the list has to deal with the Nintendo Switch it seems that an Xbox one at least console exclusive because of game preview uh, the game Vigor will be going to the Nintendo Switch this year it is slated to drop on the Switch in 2020 now for people who don't know Vigor was made by Bohemia Interactive. They are the same developers that made DayZ. And um, this will be coming to the Switch. It is a free-to-play. It's basically a free-to-play shooter. Now, when it did drop last August uh, in, into game preview on the Xbox One, it had upwards of 700,000 active players, putting it in the top 20 list of, you know, basically the most active games on Xbox One at that time. So, I gotta ask my Nintendo Switch fans out there, are you excited? Are you excited for this free-to-play to be coming to the Switch? Again, no release date, but it is slated to hit the world's most powerful handheld in 2020. And here we go, guys. The next topic on the list. Uh, we are celebrating a birthday today. It seems that Nintendo Labo VR is officially one year old. And I got to ask you guys, uh, the Switch gamers out there, do you have, have you purchased the VR kind of like goggle setup uh, that came with the, the Labo kit? Um, are you still using it now? For people who don't know, this is a virtual reality goggle setup in which you put your Nintendo Switch in as your virtual reality screen into the goggles. Um, now, if you're wondering what games are, are supported with Nintendo Labo VR, I have a quick list right here that I am going to read off to you. Super Mario Odyssey, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Super Smash Brothers, um, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, Neon Wall, Spice and Wolf VR, and uh, that's my list right now in, in terms of these games. So, happy birthday to Nintendo Labo VR, and uh, like I said, in the comments below, let me know if you are indeed, if you have purchased this and you are indeed using it. Uh, but everybody put your birthday hats on, get your noisemakers, because Nintendo Labo VR is officially one year old today. And now on to officially the last topic in this video. Uh, it seems that Ubisoft has announced that For Honor Year 4 Season 2 has been delayed of course due to what is going on in the world right now. They did come out on Twitter and, you know, they, they made a note to the gamers out there who get into this game. And I'm going to read it real quick. Uh, first and foremost, we hope that everyone is doing well and is safe at home during these times. On our side, the team is still hard at work to keep uh, For Honor fully operational, even though we are doing so from home. We are proud of how quickly everyone on the For Honor team has adapted to the situation. However, even with our efforts during these times, the, the disruption over the past weeks is having an impact on our ability to deliver our near-term content updates. For this reason, we have taken the decision to delay the release of Year 4 Season 2 till June 11th, 2020. Now, I will be totally honest with you guys. I had no idea when um, this content was supposed to drop um, before the delay. So, I don't know how long of a wait. But we are here 
in basically the middle of April, so you're looking at about a two month delay if it were coming out today. Uh, so I don't know, my, my For Honor guys out there, are, are you upset? Uh, is this understandable to you? Um, were you looking forward to getting this content as soon as possible? I'm not even sure, to be really honest with you. I got to do more research. I'm not sure of what this content um, actually entails, but I do know there there is at least there is definitely a following of For Honor gamer fans out there. So in the comments, as usual, let me know what you think about this news. And guys, that is it for the quick gaming news for today, Tuesday, April 13th, 2020. As usual, if you like the gameplay that you're seeing, you like the topics, you like hearing these, the, these bits of news in such a fashion, definitely hit that thumbs up button for me. If you haven't subscribed, definitely subscribe. As for now, this is the Xbox 448, and I am definitely signing off. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The press will be calling. Left on my blessings. I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and double it, cause I got problems on problems.